Hey everyone, welcome back to Surfer Fishing. Today we're gonna to go to DC and try to target catfish. Right now we're at a local pond just picking up bait here with Ian, Ian. Rubin from Leftovers Baits. And uh, I'll get back to you guys once we go to DC. Our fish on guys. I don't know if you're gonna see it, but. That's a really fat bigger. Let's go. We got bait. We got bait, guys. Check that out. It's a slab. Oh my god. And the bucket. Jeez. Oh, that's a big blue bass here in a while. That's a really big blue bass. Oh my god. God damn. It's cold. Take a step. There we go. Check that out. Oh. Okay. Alright, sending it back out now. Basically running some power bait on here. It's a split shot and then a bobber. Just throwing it out in the middle here. We're on again. Is it bigger than mine? No, it's not. Yeah, Fight. Oh, the lava was That's a nice one. That's gonna be bait later. Let me get your bucket. How many rods did you bring? First uh, I brought three. For okay, yeah. I two for catfish. I can set up this one for catfishing too. So I'm trying I to maximize my chance of getting some yeah, so three rod limit. I'm gonna bring three, yeah, three so rods. I'll, I'll use three rods. Six right here. Here we come again. Yeah, it's bigger than your first one. Well, it might be the same size. All right. More bait, more bait. That one you got. Yeah, it was massive. See, what's fun about like I fish for everything with this ultra all with the bass, so like it's fun because it makes everything feel big. I love their winter colors just when they're pretty. Hey, you had you had a bite. You had a bite. Oh, it's hitting it. There we go. Oh, that's not right. Caught that on cam. Let's go. All right, let me get the bucket. I think we should be good to go here, guys, on bait. Time to get catfish. We just arrived to the Georgetown waterfront. We got Ian cutting up the bait, rigging up, and we're just gonna see what works. I also brought some hot dogs. Yeah, we'll see which one works. The shad, the bluegill, or the hot dog. Yeah, I can go right down the middle here. Just trying to fillet the bluegill. We have a shad out already, hot dog out now, a bluegill. And then I like to go back and take the fins off here. Are you just gonna half it? Yeah. Alright. Take these off too. Checking on the bait right now, recasting it out. Yeah, we're definitely on. Definitely on, guys. This is a uh, running shrimp right now. Excuse the background noise. <laughs> There's a lot of people behind us. All right. It's definitely a catfish. Man, that was quick. You guys should change it up to a shrimp. Yeah. Am I uh, over under? Um, you're not tugging it. Tugging you're good. Okay. Okay. You guys keeping it? Here we go. 
Over under? Yeah, you're good. Okay. Hey, it's a blue cat. There we go. Finally. All right, you guys don't want it. I'm gonna toss him back. See ya, bud. Finally got something here. No clue what it is. It's running shrimp on a high low right now. Oh, it's an eel. American eel. That could be a good bait, honestly. These guys are slimy. Yeah, I might keep this guys for bait. Finally got the eel off the hook. I'm probably gonna keep him as bait. I'm gonna go to Use them like later on, fish somewhere else. There you go, got the hook out. He swallowed it too, really deep. There you go. RC car, guy with the RC boat. But I think I'm on something. I'm not completely sure, I might have snagged something. Oh yeah, I do have something. Oh, it's a blue cat. This is on the cut mullet. small catfish he took a big piece of bait there we go I think this is like my 4-0 Gamagatsu or something like that let's let this guy back see ya bud very high tide now as you can see like normally you can step down here but there we go let's see if it's another eel or I lost it I caught someone's line. Hopefully not mine. Yeah, this is someone else's line. Let's see what's on the other end. Where does a snag right here? Oh, looks like I got a free sinker. Someone's using like Walmart bait. All right, this is a good example how Walmart bait does not work if it worked some fish would have ate this bait a long time ago but it's still on the hook and disgusting all right check this rod out eels eels have been biting it look look I, i'm definitely not hooked like they've been doing this all day on the shrimp high low rig just retying this rig i snagged it Maybe I am on. I'll check when I finish tying this bootleg setup. Basically took up, took the weight and the sinker and the hook from that line that I pulled up earlier because I didn't bring any of my gear. Yeah, I might be hooked here. I think I got another eel here. Either that or he got off. Let's see. I think he got off. Or not. Oh, it's a white perch. Gonna keep this guy for bait as, as well.
pretty sure I hooked up on another perch right here. Feels like a perch. Or not. It's a small channel, I believe. Baby channel. It's probably the smallest catfish I ever caught. Let's get him off here. Still swimming. Oh, I got another white perch or eel here. And then you just threw it back out. Yep, another eel. I might not even keep this guy, to be honest. There he goes. Feels like Neil. Oh no. Nah. Big white perch. Keep him. For sure. It's gonna be big. Actually, you know, this is female. You see the eggs coming out here? So I might let this one go. All right, if you would like to fish here, go ahead and put in Georgetown Waterfront into your GPS. As you arrive, you'll probably come down one of these lanes right here. And parking would be just under this bridge. There's two methods of paying for parking. You can pay either an app called Park Mobile or just on the meter. I would suggest you use the app because you can always extend the time. If, you've, if the fish are tight and or biting, you can always extend your time and decide to stay longer. Or, you know, you just play by ear and be strategic about it. You know, put one hour, two hours, and then if the fish aren't biting, you can leave. So, um, whereas with the meter, you can't really do that. You have to run back and forth and put more time. And as for fishing areas, you can fish along all this trail right here. I was fishing right here, in this area. Um, I guess another thing to be aware of is there's a boat or boat club right here where kayakers, rowers, canoers, whatever it may be, they come out um, for practice or just for leisure and they basically ride this bank. So you just got to be careful where you throw because these people don't know what they're doing. They're just rowing and not seeing where they're going and not understanding the etiquettes of being out on the water. You know, they have this whole river where they could be rowing, but they just want to ride the ledge where people are fishing and they're not even paying attention. I had an encounter with a lady, she was rowing and then, you know, she basically got caught in both my lines and tried to blame it on me. And she went full Karen mode on me, but l let's not talk about her. She's just wasting my time and energy. Um, but yeah, I digress. Other than that, uh, if you want to eat food too after, Farmer's Fisher's Bakers is really good. Um, and then I normally go get burgers with Ian, the uh, buddy of mine I fish with in my in, in the intro. Like you saw, I go to Good Stuff Eateries and I get burgers there. And that's basically it. Uh, hopefully that helps. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the next video. Remember to smash that like button, give us a comment, and subscribe. Everything I use is under the description below, so check that out as well.